Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. I uh, just want to give a grow update. It's um, Labor Day weekend 2017 and um, most of these look about the same and I did a big harvest this week but I still need to pick a few more. Um, this is my Chinese red pepper in the uh, self-watering container. PI 439 452. Doesn't have a lot on there but there's a few. Hi Dragon is winding down. I've picked a bunch off of this. It may um, put out another round. I don't know. And I'm starting to get a lot of ripe on my Tiltup and Yellow. And this is my um, Ahi Pineapple F2 from uh, D3. This is a, these are all not really ideal Fino. They're smaller. But I've been picking some of these. And this is one of the White Devil's Tails. Getting a few really cool looking shapes. Even though some of these are up and pollinated, I'm going to save seeds on some of these. The ones I've got isolated on this plant aren't quite as nice looking. This is the other one I've got. Um, yeah, you can kind of see few that I've got isolated aren't. This one's not too bad. But they don't have that distinct tail that I like. Just like the ones on my wick bucket have the have a nicer shape. Here's my Helios Hab. Need to pick a few more off of there. It's slowed down. The plant's still real real nice looking. It's my Cardiel Scorpion. Some on there right this is the uh, crossed or whatever one with the red pods. While I'm up here, I'll show you my wick buckets. Um, this is my uh, pineapple sage, white sage. These are growing really well. And this is a um, sweet mint, chives, and some Greek oregano. It's all kind of hanging off the side here. That's really good. And it's used up all of I just added some more, but it used all of the solution. And this is a, um, these are two Gretel eggplants. I had them in the basement under the 400 watt light. And, and they were in a, a wick tote. And they're still not fully adjusted, but they're putting out some fruits. There's a one, a bigger one on this other plant. I could probably go ahead and pick it. It's pretty cool. So it's in a uh, 27 gallon tote. Yeah. See the roots aren't really super established yet, but they're there. I need to kind of secure these a little better. I need to also build these up and kind of let them have something to grow against. But, um, yeah, they're looking looking good. Um, I do need to just do some more support work on these, but other than that, not too bad. Um, and also I have a uh, Orange Manzano in a 32 gallon cracky setup and this was in a five gallon deep water culture and it's adjusting and growing it's put out some new growth since I put it here and I need to add some extensions here to provide a little more support I do have a pod there's a few actually but I think the biggest one is that guy there just keeping an eye on that there's a few others, like there's one. There may be one or two others. Oh, here's, there's some there. So, yeah, that's kind of a viney sort of plant, so it needs a lot of, a lot of support. Um, also, I probably would just grow, grow down here if I didn't do anything. But I'm gonna try to add something for it. Okay, we'll take a look at the uh, drip plants next. 
Okay, these are my drip system plants. And I have actually not even looked at these for a couple of days. I've had a lot of rain. These black boots are really beautiful. And they ripen out to um, really nice red. Very good tasting, nice heat on these two. Some more there. A lot of these have kind of like this chocolate boodle. The branch where I've got isolated stuff broke, and you can see where the leaves are dying. But I did get one of the tag pods to mostly ripen. You can see my Papuchito cross kind of next to it. I need to start picking those. And this is my uh, not seven pot olive. And I've got a big pile of these that I picked. I need to put up. Oh, there's a bunch more in here that are ripe. These really aren't super hot, but they've got a nice heat, kind of a mild seven pot flavor. And my Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion in the 10 gallon bag is starting to get a few more ripe on it. That's a nice one there. So kind of a fat one there. Yeah, there's a good one. So yeah, these have some really nice shapes. You know, this one, the one beside is really cool. Really fat looking, nice tail on it. So I'll be picking these soon. And I picked a few waves of these Daddle. And there's, it's always got a bunch ripening on it. I need to pick. There's some I did manage to isolate. So these will be good. And they're ripe. That's another one. Some other pineapple plant. Now Mako Kaku is totally falling over because I haven't done a good job with supporting it. I put a stake here but I didn't tie the plant very well. So these are kind of leaning over so I've got some work to do fixing these. This is my yellow Jay's Red Ghost Scorpion Cross. Picked a bunch on this guy the other day too. There's still a bunch on there. I need to support my mine have a little better too. It's got, got a bunch still turning. Yellow dystopia. Again, some pretty cool phenos. A lot of them are kind of just straight, but again, some with tails. Like that. It's pretty nice. There's another one. Almost, well, actually, quite a few of them have these tails on them. These have been in the inside and they're still adjusting to the sun, so they're kind of not the best looking. Well, that's a Geronimo. That's just got a little, little ripe pepper there. And this is my Malgetta. And I've got a few ripe on it. And the plant's not, I mean, it's still kind of adjusting. It's not been out here too long. But it's it's doing okay. I cherapita bushes got tons of little peppers that I need to start picking soon. And a yellow scotch bonnet. It's got a lot of fruits on there. And my volunteer plant that's next to my blue Christmas. It's got pods on it. Just now seen. Not sure what it is. So that'll be exciting. Seeing what that turns into. And a lot of really beautiful 
color changes on my blue Christmas. Really pretty. Kind of speckled colors mixed in. It's another volunteer plant growing up next to it out of the same pot. I'm not really sure what these are yet. Plant's kind of big. There's another one kind of leaning onto it. It's Carbonero Cream. It's a really prolific plant. I posted a review on this the other day. And um, it's got a lot on there. I was talking to Tony Sherwood. He told me that it, what the cross is on this. It's a cross between a white Buccalochia and an orange Carbonero. Some, some are like kind of longer. Some are a little, a little fatter. But they all have really nice shapes. Nice color on them. This Tiansen plant is flopped over. Quite a few. Some pods on there. I've got a review and I haven't uploaded yet on, on this ones from this plant. It looks like my Sedasia Adama Pa has a flopped over. Wow, there's a lot of there's a lot of ripe peppers on here I need to get. Look at that. The peppers on this are just beautiful. They taste good too. I've been kind of trying to advocate this plant because nobody grows it but it's a really good pepper I think. It puts out really pretty dark pods and then they ripen to a beautiful beautiful red look like cherries. That's what the it stands for or translates to this cherry of Amapa. Yeah there's more down there. There's my shishi toe. I've got a round I can pick to eat soon. It's one of my nice isolated ones turned ripe so I can go ahead and pick that guy and get some seeds out of it. Puerto Rican yellow. This guy is just loaded. Look how I picked a wave of these that I haven't even put up yet. They're still in the kitchen. Some are isolated there. Here's my first ripe Queen Lori. Mostly right. These are supposedly like the Ahi Amarillo, but they've got they don't have really have a pointy tip, they're a little more blunt on the tips. I try to do a little reinforcing, but it's still wanting to lean. I need to do some more work with plants getting on up there. Getting loaded with pods and that's causing a little more weight. Pull it around. Here's my sugar rush peach. And I've been super slack about um, picking these. I mean they're probably all these are probably starting to go bad. They look okay. I've just been really slack about it. To be honest, it isn't really my favorite pepper. I like how they how the pods look. But I don't really like how it grows in the it's really big peppers on here though. I need to go ahead and pull them, freeze them or something. They're really good in jellies and stuff, I think. Brazilian red olive. I picked a ton of these the other day. It's still got a bunch turning ripe. It's a really pretty pepper, I think. This Benny Highlands is flopping over. It's very productive. Stravos. There's quite a few on there. Some of my Swiss chocolate. Looks like I've got some more starting to turn right. They start out green and they turn almost like a black color. I think it's still maybe unstable. Um, there's another one. This thing's huge. That one's probably go ahead and pick. I'll show you that. 
these are just gigantic. Well, some of them aren't that big. I mean, they, they range from like really big to normal size. But the one I tried the other day, um, it was not very hot at all, but it had a really good sweet flavor. So I was thinking these larger ones would be good to cut them open or stuff them or make little boats, you know, put stuff in them, cook them. But they're very delicious though. So I'm going to probably keep growing it, whether it's crossed or not. Got a few isolated ones in there. There's another shot of my Brazilian red olive. It's growing a lot. Here's my Primo's. Few right, here's that cool one here. Really nice tail on that guy. It's not all the way ripe yet. Looks cool. So, um, Primo is one of my favorite of the super hot peppers. It's the back side of that. Queen Lori there. That's one that uh, I keep forgetting to mention in my updates, but the uh, Trent, Trent Nolan sent me the seed seeds for this plant. And I think he got it from Chili Seeds, Queensland. There's a little wasp in there. And there's some El Scorponero ripe. These are some of my isolated ones. Some pretty good shapes on there. This is one of my favorites. This is a creation by D3. This is the F2. It's a cross between a uh, Carbonero and a um, yellow Butch T Scorpion. This is my um, Unreaper. Lisi Moxide Scotch Bonnet. And this is a pretty massive plant actually. I picked a ton of these just the other day. Yellow. And it's just been loaded. A little bit of insect damage. That one got poked or something there. Well, the peppers on these are really hot. This is a cross between. I don't have the information in handy. I can. It's on. I got the seed from Justin White. Whitehotpeppers.com. And he has info on the cross, on who made it. But it's um, cross between a Dougla and a Fairy Scotch bonnet. I'm getting a little bit of insect damage. Some of these. They're very hot have a good flavor and this one was supposed to be a uh, peach moringa scorpion I'm getting all kinds of insect damage on it I have picked a ton of these but it's kind of just grown out sideways but I think it's a carbonero or a type of carbonero seeds may have gotten mixed and on the back side you can see my reaper moringa cross Some really cool looking pods on there. I don't think I got any isolated ones yet. My little, sometimes it's kind of hit or miss if you get any on your branch. I need to maybe just tag another branch, but it's got a lot of fruits on there. Yeah, they're very hot. It's my um, seven pot chagawan is yellow. Much down here, some grass on it, but it's like a very productive plant. It's taken it a while to kind of get going, but I tasted one of these and they're very hot. Nice flavor too. I'm gonna show these dystopia here. Some that are kind of ripe. I think that's about it. Um, I'm probably going to harvest some of these today. I wanted to get some video 
before I do that but um they're still looking good I think I need to do better work on on plant support I have that problem every year I don't do I don't have a lot of forethought on how I should do these and they are better this year than last year I think I think giving them better spacing the layout's a little better and they still have plenty of room to grow in each other a little bit to kind of I mean you can see each individual plant by there but like these I just you know I put a thing here but I didn't really tie the plant very well and you can see I just broke one so they're very brittle and you need to so that's make a cocoon broken off. I could probably put this in water and I might get a lot of these to ripen, which I'll probably do. There's still a lot of the lot left on the plant. Now this is a really good pepper tea. I was going to do a review on it maybe today. But yeah, I'll stick this in some water just to see if I can keep these going until they ripen at least. Um, anyway, um, that's my uh, pepper update. Let's see, it's the uh, 3rd of September 2017. And I um, hope you like that. Thank you for following. And um, thank you for watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe.